Hi, this is Take from BigHeadTaco.com and I'm down here in the Railtown district of Vancouver. If you just pan to the right and then pan a little bit over to the left. You can see here and that's far enough. Come back to me here. All right. I have my wife, Luna Kiwi, uh, doing the recording for me. Uh, this is my first probably proper review and I thought I would start off by reviewing my oldest camera in my collection, or one of my oldest cameras in my collection is the Polaroid Land Camera 250. Now this isn't the most expensive of all the Land cameras. Uh, I think the one something, Mijonju has it. It's a beautiful one. It has manual aperture and shutter control. This one doesn't, but I still love it. Um, it's very compact. This is one of the things I like it. I did convert, one of the biggest problems with these cameras was that it took a weird 4.5 volt battery. And so I did, uh, like many, I converted this over to a, a AAA pack here. So that makes it more convenient. You still get the same 4.5 volt battery, but using AAA. So this is the Portal LAN 250. It takes Integro film. I was going to show you how to install it, but I already have film in here. But uh, it's very compact, as you can see. And when you're ready to shoot, you pull open this rangefinder viewfinder. You pull this up, and now, ta-da! You're ready to rock the Casbah. So this camera, um, just keep it going there. Takes this type of film. So this film is, I think, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this is the size of the negative. This is how big the negative is. So you get really, really good quality images. And this is the older. I'm gonna do a, a quick. Um, uh, show you how I can shoot it. So I'm gonna be actually shooting my wife here and then we'll see it coming to life. But while we're down here, my wife and I, we did a couple of photo shoots so you can sort of see, uh, she didn't know I was gonna do this, but you can sort of see the type of pictures that we did down here. Just up against that wall over there, you can look over there, yeah. We just picked a nice neutral gray wall and you can come back here. So yeah, so we just took a few uh, test shots. In the old days, this is really what you did with proofing. You wanted to see how the image would look before you shot because when you shoot film, you didn't really know what you got until after. So these are the type of pictures. This is my favorite shot that we took down here. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one right here, my favorite picture. So uh, let's just quickly show you how it's done. So this is ISO 100. I'm gonna just pop the cover off which you can with this camera. So covers off. Uh, this is ISO 100, but it only has 75 and it jumps to 150, so ISO 75. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. I'm going to switch over to dull day. So I'll switch this over to dull day. And I, let's just see if this is, isn't too close. Okay, I'm going to back up just a little bit like that. Perfect. And I might be fooled by, I, there is a light on top of, an uh, LED light on top of the camera. So what I'm going to do is... Let's see later. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna take a picture here of my wife. So, this is shutter. One, two. Hmm. This isn't working here. Give me a second. Ah, but you know what? That's, I think it might have been out of focus. Might have been out of focus, but you heard that. So, what you do is you pull this tab, and then this other tab comes out and then it goes through the rollers and it squeezes the chemistry. So the chemistry was actually in here. So when we pulled it, it, it basically squeegeed the chemistry across the film plane here. So, and you wait, according to the box, uh, I have the box, maybe this is the pack here. It, the box tells you, depending on the temperature, how long to wait. So it's probably about 14 degrees now. So we have to wait about 60 seconds. So uh, you see people with the integral Polaroid or even the Fuji film where the chemistry and the film is sandwiched in between and there's nothing to peel apart, people still shake the film. And the reason why they, you, people said it developed quicker, but actually that's not true. Only these older peel aparts, people, you have to shake because the chemistry actually touches the, the image where the image is developed. So uh, it was still a little bit wet and sticky. And that's why people would shake the Polaroids in the past. But once the film became integral, there was no need to shake it, but people still thought that somehow it uh, processed quicker. So that's where that, uh, that shaking came from. So I think we're ready to peel. It's going to be out of focus. Oh, no. You know what's happening is, look at that, nothing. What's happening is the, uh, the, the LED light that's shooting at, at us 
it's thrown the exposure way off. So I gotta find something else to shoot. We still have some film left. So let's try. Let's try something here. Maybe, maybe we can shoot this truck here. So just follow me here and we'll leave the stuff on the floor and I will shoot this truck. So I'm gonna stop talking and Luna Kiwi could just stop there. And I will just shoot. All right, so shot that. Let's go back here again. It's on fixed focus to about one meter. As you know from my previous videos, this camera tended to wander a bit. So again, we pull the tab and then this tab comes out and then squeegee the chemistry across. Oops, that's bad. If you don't pull it out smoothly, sometimes what happens is the chemistry blotches and then as you pull through, you'll see a little funny line. But again, we'll wait about uh, 60 seconds for it to come through. But as you can see, as, as we let this come through, you see this is a rangefinder style. So this is a proper rangefinder. There is two images that superimpose inside. So as we do this, we can get focused. So this is fun because this is a true rangefinder. It's actually a Zeiss, it's a Zeiss icon rangefinder made in West Germany. So that adds extra value to this. So uh, yeah, I love this camera. I actually actually have the, the 581A uh, portrait kit for this and what, what I do with this is you can actually put this on top of the rangefinder here as you can see that you put this on top and then you add the extra lens here and it pops on here and then you can do more you could do close-up portraits with this so I did a couple of those did a couple of those with this picture here of Luna Kiwi my wife and so that's the kind of closeness and also it compresses the image a little bit so you get a little bit better portraits so let's see if this works out. I'm gonna feel silly if it doesn't. Uh, ta -da! So you can see that. So there is the picture. And again, in the past people did that because it's a little bit, it's not wet, but it's a little bit, not even sticky, but you don't wanna rub it too much. The emulsion is still a little bit soft, but so that's the picture of the truck. I'll just cover the license plate there, but that's it there and this is the actual negative so you can see this was sandwiched on top the image was shot through so this is the image and this is the negative right here that you throw away but there is a technique I've never tried it myself but there is a technique where you can actually then push this up against another emulsion and rub this and you can actually get another picture off of this so uh, I guess you could just YouTube it I'm not sure even what it's called but I'd love to give it a try or if you know how to do it just comment on the bottom the comment section below so that's my quick review of the Polaroid LAN 250 again there's different versions of this this is probably the medium price version came out in 1967 discontinued 1969 and replaced with another I think even a cheaper version uh, I know I have a later model because the earlier one had a non Zeiss icon rangefinder system and uh, it was actually bigger and then this one came along the Zeiss icon which I think is cooler but the viewfinder as you can see it's really really tiny so if you wear glasses you have to take your glasses off so uh, yeah that's pretty much it you have to take this uh, portrait you have to take the portrait kit off if you want to close it all up, but basically you says press to close. You press right over here, and that sandwich is down, and you can lift this tab up, this shuts down, and then you just put the cover back on, over your shoulder, and you're ready to rock. So anyways, this is Take from BigCatTaco.com, down at the Railtown District. Thank you very much for viewing, and uh, watch for more videos. Happy shooting, thank you.